it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are new, I upload uh, new videos one to three times every week. Uh, this is a nail polish channel. I mainly post indie nail polishes. Sometimes, hopefully, in the near future, I will have a couple of mainstream uh, swatches to share with you all. I also do nail art, um, hauls, unboxings, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, if any of that interests you, if you are like me and obsessed with nail polish, definitely hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell. Today's video is for the newest release from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is their From Blood and Ash collection. This is an 8 piece collection that launches on July 30th at 12 noon on the Bees Knees Lacquer website as well as their international stockists. Um, along with these polishes, there's also going to be two mystery polishes as well as a huge restock including last month's collection from the that was inspired by the Resident Evil Village game. Um, again, I'll have all of that information linked down below. I'll also have a link to my blog post with all of my swatch photos. Also, speaking of my blog, I also have a couple of new blog posts up that I did not make videos for. So um, I will put little thumbnails up in the corner so you can all see them. But uh, yes, I've got a ton of things and yeah. Is that everything? Yes, I think that's everything. Um, so let's just get into this video. Starting with the glitter bombs, first up we have the Maiden. This one is described as a glitter bomb with a ruby red and hollow glitters in various sizes. It's priced at $11. So I for one am super excited that Bees Knees is having some glitter bombs. I don't own a single polish by this brand that is this packed with glitters. So this one had a great formula. It did not feel thick at all despite just having so much glitter in it. I found that as far as glitter bombs go, this one is a bit more on the sheer side. You will have some visible nail line if you polish this one on. This would be a good candidate to sponge it on if that is more your thing. The glitters all spread out evenly and easily on their own. I did not need to do anything special to get good coverage. This one will be a good topper, I think. I have, I'll have a swatch of this over black, but I think you could pretty much put this over whatever you want. This dries down slightly textured. I went in for one thick coat of glossy top coat and that seemed to smooth it up perfectly fine. Removal will be on the tricky side just due to all of those glitters. Next up, we have the dark one. The dark one is described as a glitter bomb with a royal purple and hollow glitters in various sizes. It's priced at $11. So all of the glitter bombs pretty much have the exact same formula and application. No issues with any of them. I feel like this one is the most opaque out of the three. Um, this one and the next one both have a almost metallic look on the nail. You can kind of see on my pointer nail, like it's just like very a metallic-y type of glitter. And um, it does not dry down super textured. I did, again, one thick coat of top coat and that seemed to smooth it up pretty well. Just, I am very excited about these polishes. They look so pretty. And I forgot to mention it in the last one, but these are all very holographic. Um, unfortunately, I swatched these at night, so I don't have some daylight shots for them, but they are super holographic. For the easiest time on removing all of these glitters, Definitely soak these polishes off or wear peel-off base coat. I had no issues soaking them off. And the final glitter polish is Princess. This one is described as a glitter bomb with rose gold and hollow glitters in various sizes. It's priced at $11. Princess also had a fantastic formula, no application issues. I, I love the color of this polish, this soft, princessy, rose gold type shade. I loved it. Just super beautiful. I felt like this one dried just slightly more uh, texture than the previous polishes. So I, I pulled my hand away here, but basically what I'm doing is sliding my finger along the sides of my nails to make sure I don't have any glitters um, just hanging off the side. And here you can see me tapping it at the tip of my nail to make sure I don't have any glitter hanging off the side. This will also help your glitter polishes last longer as well as just kind of cleaning up the way your nail looks. You can see um, it looks a lot cleaner now because as the polish dried, I just tap, tap, tap the sides a little bit to make sure I didn't have any like glitter bits hanging off the side. Despite this being um, just slightly more textured than the previous polishes, I still just did one thicker coat of my KB Shimmer Quick Dry Top Coat and that smoothed this one out completely. No issues on removal again, soak it off. Next up we have From Blood and Ash. This one is described as a peachy pink to yellow to green pastel multi-chrome. It's priced at 
So this one also had a great formula. For some reason, I could have sworn that I did three coats, but I only am seeing two coats in my on my SD card. So I don't know what happened to that third coat. I could have sworn that I did three, but maybe I only did two because I'm not seeing a huge difference between two on my middle nail and three on my other fingers. Um, so yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, so anyway, so this one has some brush strokes when wet, but I found that they all disappear as this one dries. Um, no formula application issues. This one is extremely color shifty and I was seeing all of the described colors in person. I actually wore this one for um, like a day and a half, which is a while for me, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And just if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, but I also swatched this one with a topper, with a holographic topper that I picked up recently from My Indie Polish. I will have that link down below. But this one looks so freaking pretty with a holographic topper. Like I loved it without it, but I really loved it with the holographic topper. Next up, we have Heartmates. Heartmates is described as a pastel multichrome that shifts from a rich mauve to yellow to green with a scattering of black to red multichrome flakies. This one is priced at $13. Heartmates had a, um, an amazing formula. Um, this one starts off fairly sheer, but it builds up really nicely. This polish is extremely color shifty, extremely color shifty. I was seeing all of the described colors in person and in both the base as well as in the flakies. Um, the multichrome in this one does not show brush strokes at all. So all you're getting is this bright color shifty goodness. So um, this one I think is going to be a solid three coater. You could probably get away with two coats if you wore this over like a more opaque base but the third coat does hide any visible nail line and you just see all this beautiful color shifty goodness. Like this polish is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Nothing in here will dry down textured or will be difficult to remove. And yes, the flakies in this one are the same flakies that we saw in last month's release. Next up, we have Murderous Little Creatures. This one is described as a pastel multichrome that shifts from a green to a pink to a blue with a scattering of black to red multichrome flakies. It is priced at $13. Murderous Little Creatures had a fantastic formula, not too thick or too thin. All of the polishes in this release were just perfect in, that, in the consistency. None of them felt overly thick or thin, by the way. So this one um, was just equally gorgeous to the last polish. It started out on the more sheer side, uh, in three coats, you will still have some visible nail line with this one. But again, you get all of that multi-chrome color shifty goodness. In person, the colors that I was seeing, I was seeing a pink. I was seeing like a tealish green. I was seeing a blue as well as a purple at extreme angles. Like The name of this polish paired with just how beautiful it was. I just loved it. And also, I think this one will look really cool over black. I didn't swatch it over black, but I think it would look really cool over black. Nothing in here, dry down textured, it will be overly difficult to remove. And I also did not experience staining. Next up, we have You Are My Home. This one is described as a cobalt blue pastel multichrome that shifts to a sapphire and purple with a scattering of black to red multichrome flakies. It's priced at $13. You Are My Home also had a great formula. This one was the least like um, in your face color shifty. And I didn't really, I wouldn't really call this one a pastel. I don't know what I would call it, but I wouldn't really call it a pastel. But even though um, it wasn't super color shifty like the other polishes, it was still very impressive. I was seeing some various tones of like blues to sapphires, to, like jewel toned like blues and purples in this one. So for this one, I feel like the you see the color shifts in the flakies a lot easier because your eyes aren't as distracted by the base color in this one, if, if that makes sense. I just thought it looked really beautiful. I also swatched this in one coat over a black cream and it was so pretty. Um, like the previous polishes, nothing in here dry down textured. It will be overly difficult to remove. And the final polish I have to share is We Shall Rise. We Shall Rise is described as a bright aqua to cobalt to purple pastel multichrome and it's priced at 
Like the other polishes in this release, it did not feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. This had a really great formula and it was extremely color shifty. This polish just glows on the nail. Just, oh my goodness, like I'm looking at the photos and it's just, oh my god, it's so pretty. Um, so this one is on the sheer side. I think you could definitely use this one as a topper if visible nail light is not your cup of tea. Um, I also have, I'll have photos of this swatched over black. I just thought this polish looked absolutely phenomenal. Like, it was just really just breathtaking. Also, I did not have any um, issues with brush strokes or anything like that through the multi-chrome pigment. Just pure gorgeousness. And so that is everything. Oh my goodness. This collection was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. It was just gorgeous. Um, one, I loved the fact that Sarah did some glitter bombs. Um, I can't think of another, I, I don't even know when the last time Bees Knees had polishes that were glitter bombs. It was not when I was following them. Um, so I am very excited about those. I hope you all like them too. And, um, don't forget for glitter bombs, you definitely want to wear either a peel-off base coat or soak those off. I always soak, I soak all of my polishes off, but definitely glitter heavy polishes Definitely soak those bad boys off if you want to get them off easily. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's my little heads up there. Uh, two, my second, my, I think my top, top pick for this release is going to be Heartmates though. I loved that pastel multi-chrome shift paired with those flakies. Absolutely phenomenal. I loved it. Um, and then my last top pick, oh, it was like four polishes now. Um, but yeah, I really, I, it's a toss up between From Blood and Ash and then um, Murderous Little Creatures. I'm kind of leaning towards Murderous Little Creatures because I think that name is hilarious. I have not yet read this book series. I'm about to go download it onto my Kindle. Uh, has anyone read this book series, by the way? I'm very curious. I, I looked it up on Goodreads and it sounded interesting. Um, so yeah, that's everything. <laughs> Sorry, I blabbered on. This collection launches on July 30th on the Bees News Lacquer website, as well as their international stockists. I know Pam from Girly Bits will have it. I'm pretty sure Rainbow Connection will have it. So I almost forgot to mention, on the Bees News Lacquer website right now, um, they do have their po their Polish Pickup Rewind Polish Tartarus that is still available. It will be available when these polishes launch. Um, it disappears on the 31st. So definitely jump in and grab that if you have not yet already. I will include a link in the cards as well as in the description of my original review for the polish. Just know it is absolutely gorgeous. It's actually on my list of my favorite polishes from this year. So yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, thank you so much for watching. And 